Welcome to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, featuring the internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Now here along with Dr. Bonatti, your host, Kimberly Brumell. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for American Medicine Today. I'm Kimberly Brumell, joined by world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alfred Bonatti of the Bonatti Spine Institute. Thank you for being here. Doc? (laughs) <laughs> Hi. He's engrossed in his notes. He is. Yes. And the voice from over there, well, that's our executive radio producer, Ethan Euchre. How you so doing? Thank you for being here. Pleasure to be here as always. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi again. <laughs> Hi, Doc. <laughs> well, for those of you that listen to our program and watch via um, WeBeamTV.com, um, you guys know that Dr. Benatti started out in invasive open back spine surgery Mm -hmm. and he learned along the way that those techniques and procedures didn't really work and that really got to him because when he tried to help fix somebody he really wanted them relieved of their pain so over time he developed his own patented methods and tools um, and they are called the Bonatti spine procedures and he has brought help to many thousands of people suffering from neck back sciatic pain, um, if they have whiplash, uh, fibromyalgia, RSD, um, migraines, these are all things that can be relieved by the Bonatti spine procedures. And it's not just us saying so. Week after week, we have patients that talk about their experience, and we have over 94% success and that's patient reported success and when we look back in our files over a seven and a half year time frame the actual percentage rate was 98.75 percent immediate patient satisfaction that's, that's incredible amazing. yeah yeah and it's not only just you know it, it, ama- it continues to amaze me the spectrum of patients that we talk to yes. you know all age ranges in mm-hmm. fact um, I think the patient we're gonna speak with today is uh, she's just 22. a young lady 22 yes. years old you know mm-hmm. so it's not just you know, the elderly or anything like that, Correct. it's it's people of all ages that yes. can benefit from uh, the Bonatti Spine Procedures. And even those that have heard from other doctors that, that's it, sorry, you're just going to have to live with the pain, uh-uh, not the case the majority of the time, seek out the Bonatti Spine Institute. And you can do so at Bonatti.com. Uh, later in our Back to Life segment, we're actually going to speak to that patient. Her name's Marie Boltersdorf, and she had surgery basically on her tailbone. L5-S1 area. Mm -hmm. Um, She's going to be calling in from Virginia. Then we get a chance to speak to critically acclaimed filmmaker and New York Times bestselling author of America, Imagine a World Without Her, Dinesh D'Souza. Very excited about that one. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we'll hear what's new in American medicine today. But in studio, (laughs) we have... Dr. Dreshen, and he is a world-renowned plastic surgeon at the Clinique of Plastic Surgery here in St. Petersburg. And you're going to be discussing with us your specific uh, refresher lift procedure and cool sculpting. So again, thank you for being here, Dr. Dreshen. Good morning, Kimberly. Kimberly, I know um, we actually um, did a segment with Dr. Dreshen yes. for our television show, which is going to mm-hmm. air um, a week from tonight, I believe. Yes. Um, and I know I was telling you uh, when we went to his office to mm-hmm. film that segment that um, I wasn't honestly very interested in hearing about the facelift thing because I just saw because I'm you know I'm 34 right. years old I'm a guy mm-hmm. it doesn't I just it wasn't really that interesting to me but but what did i tell you 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 said just wait till you see some of these photos yes and we saw the before and afters and Mm -hmm. it boggled my mind how how different some of these people looked so uh dr dreschen why don't you kind of explain to the the listeners how you came up with your facelift uh your refresher lift Uh, procedure yeah the refresher lift procedure is a is a procedure been developing over the last 15 years i think right now it really don't pat so I get very predictable result. Mm-hmm. I think it's also a certain philosophy of, of rejuvenation. You know, rejuvenation is not nip and tuck, it's not making people tight looking or odd looking like you can see a number of a Hollywood fixture. Mm-hmm. But it's trying to get people looking more dynamic, more pleasant, more fresh. And I think when you, you look at the surgery in, in with that goal in mind you're going to automatically do a number of steps that are not the usual face lift procedure. So what I've developed is some kind of what we call a vertical lift, is doing what you do in surgery, the same thing as you do with your hand when you try to show a a fresher face, Mm -hmm. and also really look at the expression of the person. And since somebody sometimes look angry, they look tired, they look Mm -hmm. sad, and I think it's really important to, to, to focus 
on improving that expression. And I think if you look at the before and after, I run a study with medical students showing pretty clearly that the people afterward were much more desirable in society. And then if you look at what's happening all over the country, from a radio station to a TV station, there's nobody with a sad or angry face on the screen. Yes. Everybody looks nice and fresh and dynamic, and that regardless of the age. So for me, the rejuvenation is more about restoring a fresh, pleasant expression, a dynamic expression, which is important for everyone, including uh, the business community. Very well, true. Well, and I, and I know we got into um, how, mm -hmm. uh, especially nowadays, especially for females, mm -hmm. Kimberly, yes. um, as you age, you know, you tend to, it's just kind of the way society is nowadays, where, you know, mm -hmm. there's such pressure to continue to continue to try to look young, yes. um, to be viable. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, do you do you do more females, I'm assuming, Dr. Dreschen, well, or? Yeah, it's still the trend, especially in Florida, is it, still 80% uh, female. Mm -hmm. But I, I still think the, the men uh, mostly don't participate as much into it, mostly by, by ignorance. They don't really see what can be done for them. But in a competitive society like we are, and uh, where jobs are a little scarcer that we want to find, and uh, uh, in politics, etc., I think it's very important to have an engaging, uh, engaging expression, and a dynamic look, and that's proven all through uh, the the business world. That's true. I mean, we see it right now. The economy is in the toilet. Let's face it, it is. Mm -hmm. And with people having to work longer, they're not able to retire at 65 anymore. So if they're in that workforce, they need to look young and energetic so it's not on companies' mm -hmm. minds. Hey, look at this older employee. They're starting to slow down. Nope. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely true. I mean, you can see uh, definitely just look at the uh, the anchor people yes. in, uh, on TV. I mean, there's none of these people. The old Morley Schaefer and everybody else have virtually disappeared mm -hmm. because they don't look fresh enough. And uh, mm -hmm. we want to see the dynamic, clean-looking features, and that's the way society is. But it's also that, a self-confidence booster. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dr. Benetti. There are two elements that they are going to be very important in the 21st century, mm -hmm. uh, and this is... Uh, locomotion and uh, how you look. Mm -hmm. uh, it's true that we're aging and the population is aging, but really the experience and the quality of the individuals mm -hmm. that they are in the 50s and 60s and 70s are ir irreplaceable. And uh, the, the business community and uh, the arts community, whoever uh, work with that specific individual is losing that type of an individual because doesn't look as good as supposed to. And then they replace that person with somebody on the 20s and 30s, and then they really don't have the knowledge mm -hmm. that the other person accumulates through life. And at the same time, the same thing goes with locomotion person needs to be able to move, needs to stand straight, needs to walk, needs to do things. So the technology today is amazing how it can restore the outside of the human to really a very much good looking youth and uh, at the same time maintain the quality of the brain and the, the knowledge. Well, I totally agree with that. I think it has become a very important aspect in the, in the later years to, to be as active and participate in society as much as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, the reverse is, is, is true senility. I mean, you want people to be able to still be useful to society as late as they can in life. Well, uh, with just a few minutes left, uh, I know we wanted to touch upon uh, your cool sculpting yes. as well, which is also fascinating. You basically have a machine that sort of sucks the fat mm -hmm. up into mm -hmm. it and freezes it. Can you explain a little bit how uh, cool sculpting works? All right, cool sculpting is basically a non-invasive way to get rid of lumps and rolls, mm -hmm. you know. So there's no other technique uh, beside uh, liposuction. It's more of a surgical approach. So the cool sculpting is based on, uh, on a unusual uh, idea is that if you freeze the skin and you cool the skin 
badly enough, you're going to actually freeze the underlying fat. Hmm. And the fat is more sensitive than the skin. So basically, the, the fat will be damaged and, and uh, the fat cell will die while your skin is virtually untouched. So uh, by applying the, the very cool applicator on the skin, you can actually reduce the fat underneath. And it, it only takes about an hour, correct? It's an hour per, per area. It's per an hour area. per area. But I mean, there's no, there's no downtime. It's all sore afterward. But mm -hmm. there's no downtime. You can go back to work right away. So for the professional, I think it's an excellent idea. How long to does my, it take the system to, to flush out? About a month or so, you see, the, you see the result. Yeah, And the result are permanent. Basically, it's destruction of fat cell. That's fantastic. Yeah, because the cells on the body and the fat cells on the body you were born with certain amount of mm -hmm. cells. Mm -hmm. And if you destroy those ones, those things that don't come back again. The important thing that I was trying to ask you is uh, once you do this, this freezing situation, mm -hmm. do you have any, any and, and needs to be eliminated in a certain way? You are going, to, that thing is eliminated as a as a, as, a, as a fluid to the kidneys and Correct. as a waste. Mm -hmm. Is any any compromise to the kidneys, any problem? No, being no, it's a, very, it's a very slow process. Basically, the fat, the fat cell explodes almost like releasing oil, and the oil is, is pretty much um, slowly reabsorbed by the body. I mean, it's no, there's no, no evidence of any damage to kidney and so on. None of this is immediate, it's a very slow process. Okay. It's not going to elevate your cholesterol no. or anything like that. <laughs> no, no. All right. It's okay. fascinating stuff. So it is. if people want uh, to look into the refresher lift or cool sculpting, uh, you do both of them at your office in St. Petersburg, correct? Correct, yeah. And how would they get in touch? Well, you can check uh, my website. It's called uh, clinic of, uh, clinicps.com, clinic like clinic cosmetic, or my phone number is 727-592-0991. Excellent. That's great. So if you yourself want to tighten up those problem areas or give yourself a little more confidence, reach out to Dr. Christian Dreshen in St. Petersburg, the Clinic of Plastic Surgery. You're listening to American Medicine Today on News Radio 970 WFLA. After the break, we're going to hear from patient Marie Boltersdorf. Revolution. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. This is the first time that I am pain free after 18 years. And it's just wonderful. I love it. Phenomenal results. No pain whatsoever. My pain is virtually gone. Nothing short of a miracle. Those surgeries gave me my life back. Already I feel like a new person. I'm going home new. I can chase my grandbaby now. I can garden, I can cook, and I'm really thrilled. The outcome has been remarkable. I feel 100% better. It's like a miracle. It was phenomenal. It literally did change my life. I was in a wheelchair at that time and uh, I left here walking. Every single pain that I had when I came here is gone. I'm ready to go home and feel great. This place is great. Thank you. Everything that they said they would do, they have done and I'm very, very satisfied and happy with those results. I knew in surgery, in fact, I told the surgeon when he relieved the pain off the nerve. The pain is gone. I'm feeling wonderful. I have no pain. I feel better than I felt in four years from the surgery. It was almost immediate relief. Today I am totally pain free, which is just amazing. It's fantastic. It definitely works. I mean, I really don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I'm happy. 